What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the Phenom, as I refer to him as, undefeated IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jerron Boots Ennis. Jerron Boots Ennis, 20, 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 29 wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age, 5'10 with a 74 inch arm reach. Gets absolutely ripped by Boston News 24. Because Jerron Boots Ennis made a statement ahead of his showdown and rematch November 9th in his hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, when he takes on Chua Karazin, um, KC as I call him, can't pronounce his last name. It's a rematch of their fight that took place in January 7th of 2023 that many people label to be the worst fighter Jerron Woods in his career at this level. He won every single round in the fight. And me personally, I felt like KC wasn't trying to engage. He did stop every now and then and counter Jerron in and have a slight success, but that was about it. That's about all. But he's going to have a rematch because the International Boston Federation, President Mr. Daryl Peoples, decided to order the fight, period. That's just it. But there was other fights to be made. But Jerron Boutsenis, ahead of that fight, he made a statement and he stated that he's not leaving the 147 pound welterweight division until he gathers those other belts. And so Boxing News 24, they decided to put this out and they stated that he's actually wasting his absolute time. And this is never going to happen because his newly, um, formed you uh relationship and partnership with matchroom matchroom ceo and promoter eddie hearn in the zone won't allow it the example is he just recently was in negotiations for brian norman jr and they just didn't give brian norman jr who is the newly crowned undefeated wbo welterweight world champion what he was looking for brian norman 26 wins no loss no draw 20 wins by way of knockout 23 years of age, five foot nine, about five foot eight with a 72 inch arm reach, was just asking for an extra 500,000 to fight Jerron Ennis in unification in Philadelphia in his hometown, and he was unwilling to budge. And he stated, Jerron Ennis, he's not leaving his division without those belts, but if Eddie Hearn in his zone is not willing to compromise and make a sacrifice, then what are you doing it for? So I agree with that part. It's a waste of time because also the WBC welterweight champion, Mexican star, world champion, Barca, Mario Barrios, who is 29 wins, two losses, no draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. He's 29 years of age, six feet tall with a 71 inch arm each. Mario Barrios uh, is not interested in a fight with... Jerron Boots Ennis, he's actually going to fight a lesser opponent uh, just a week later in Abel Ramos, who's 28 wins, six losses, two draws. And they stated that the pot simply wasn't respectable enough for them to make that unification bout. So that's a fail. Uh, then you have, uh, obviously, Amanis Stanionis, who is the WBA welterweight world champion. And Amanis Stanionis, um, stated that they also made him a lackluster offer. He's 15 wins, no loss, no draw, nine wins by way of knockout, uh, 30 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach. And he fought Gabriel Maestri, uh in May of this year, and he won a unanimous decision. And he says that Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, they're not realistic with their offers and he's not interested. And so what Boston scene is stating that if you are the age that Jerron Ennis is, and he stated that he wants to be a four division undisputed champion, he wants to make history, which is possible with his talent. But is it possible with the politics, right? He wants to be undisputed at welterweight, undisputed at 154 junior middleweight, undisputed at middleweight 160, and undisputed at 168. Now he can. He's 27. Terrence Crawford is 37. That's 10 years. So it's possible, but he has to 
up the ante. He has to fight more often. And he has to have the backing and the promotional company that willing to put the money behind him to stage such a fight. And they have to be willing to make sacrifices. Eddie Hearn and DeZone and Matram was ready to throw in the towel with him at 147. And they was trying to make him move up to 154. So is this realistic? Is he wasting his time? He has to make the sacrifice and he has to step on the gas with them and force their hand like he did staying at welterweight. Force their hand and let them know, listen, I'm trying to fight and be under at 147. And if y'all not on board, then y'all got to step off because he needs somebody that's going to put the money behind him to make these fights happen. $500,000 is a sacrifice they should have made for him to be able to unify the belts against uh, Brian Norman Jr. Should he have won that fight, it gives more incentive for a main and Onis and Mario Barrios fight. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. And let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all already know what it is. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.